Well, there's sleeping pads and now there's sleeping quilts and I have one to show you. Welcome back to Camp Geeks, and I have the Thermarest Chorus HD Ultralight Down Quilt. Now, the down quilt is essentially a sleeping bag without the bottom. Uh, instead of laying in a sleeping bag, you drape a quilt on top of you. Now, it's designed so you actually have it with a sleeping pad. In this case, I do have Thermarest's Neo Air X Lite. It's kind of designed almost for this because this is an ultralight quilt with an ultralight uh, sleeping pad. It's a great combination if you're looking to actually do this. And my experience is going to be with this pad with this quilt, just so you're aware. Um, now, they do have a fastening system. These fasteners, which I will make actually a future uh, video on, to be honest. So if you're looking to find out how to use these or how they work, uh, check out a future video. But essentially on the quilt, they have these snaps, uh, these basically fastener items. that You can actually put these fasteners on the bottom of your sleeping pad uh, so that you're keeping as much heat inside as possible. They're not necessity. So even once you stick these to the sleeping pad, you don't have to use them every time. You really don't. Uh, you can choose to use them as you see fit. You could just use the bottom and keep the top so you can flop it over. Um, my experience so far has been without these. I have not actually put them on the sleeping pad yet. I've also wanted to test it out with different sleeping pads, but the big trip that I used, I used the sleeping pad, and I actually forgot about these. Um, and I actually got to the place and was like, um, it's going to be a little bit cooler tonight. Well, we'll find out, won't we? And I was really warm. So, uh, the one thing about the Chorus HD quilt is that it is down. It is actually dry down. So, um, unlike the down sleeping pads I've used in the past, where over the course of the evening, in the morning, you you put out a lot of moisture, obviously, out of your body. So you drink a lot, you put a lot of moisture out, and that down becomes kind of, even though you're not actually exposed to the elements, still gets a lot of moisture in it. It becomes a little more matted. And then the next night, by, you know, after it's kind of dried out all day, it's good to go in and you just repeat that cycle. And after a while, the down starts clumping a little bit until you actually kind of wash it. Uh, dry down, if you're not familiar with it, and I wasn't as familiar with it because I had a non-dry down sleeping bag, repels moisture does not lock in moisture like the other one and you can actually feel it to be honest about it um, also over the course of its life it does eventually start building up a little bit once you wash it with the dry down solution it essentially goes back to where it was when you originally bought it so pretty awesome um, to go over what you get with the sleeping pad though other than the, those things and other than being a down sleeping bag uh, you get a storage sack uh, so this is what it looks like this is the size of the storage sack when it actually is Full, and I will put it in there later and then this is the stuff sack this is what's gonna how big it's gonna be when it actually is packed up it's about half the size not quite half the size of um, my down sleeping bed that I had before so um, that's pretty nice there um, they do have the cards of course that tells you about uh, Nick wax hydrophobic down um, you know basically all the information about the thing the weight, one pound, six ounces for the regular size. They do make a large, this is a 76 by 48. They do make an 80 inch version for at one pound, eight ounces. So you're only adding two ounces there. Um, pack size, they say 10 inches by seven inches. It's 650 fill, Nick Wax, Hydrophobic Down, um, and Thermocapture Seams. So if you really want to get into what it all has, I will put links down below where you can actually go directly to Thermarest's website and find all that fancy information. But how it works. So, I have my sleeping pad here. I'm going to take it off. Um, the actual course itself, the foot box actually has this kind of piece here that you actually wrap around the bottom of your sleeping pad. So that is what I use to basically hold it in place. Now, the sides of the sleeping, of the, the quilt you can see here, actually are designed to wrap around the sleeping bag, uh, pad and kind of seal off underneath it while you're inside. Um, it works really well. It's a very comfortable sleeping pad, or uh, sleeping 
quilt, sorry. Um, it, it really is. I had the first night I had sweatpants on and a long sleeve shirt when I went to bed. I got in within the five minutes. I had to take the shirt off, and I didn't take the pants off. And I had to get off of my sleeping pad and lay on the the cold floor of the tent for uh, a good probably half hour to an hour to really suck all the heat out of my body. And then I got back in and I was good to go. The following night, which was just as cold to be honest, um, I just went in with a t-shirt and. Um, shorts like uh gym shorts and i was comfortable the entire night i the the neat thing about this is that you can just toss it off i'm hot cool down pull it back on uh in my case i just rolled out um i'm one of those that if i get hot i get hot and i, I want to cool down i like that cold feeling in the floor or a cold feeling of like a cold pillar or whatever that's kind of what you get when you roll onto a cold floor of a tent so that's kind of nice um, I love this thing. At first, you know, when I first got it, I was, uh, I, I love the thought and idea of it. Now, if it's not going to be in the 30s or something, the quilt's probably what I'm grabbing because it's really light. It's very comfortable. I can manage the heat uh, a lot better than I can do with a, with a sleeping bag. You know, a sleeping bag, you have the one zipper and that's it. Uh, where with this, you have a lot more options. So, if you're looking for a different, lighter sleeping option than a traditional sleeping bag, I highly recommend looking at a sleeping quilt. So, okay, so what does it look like packed up and such? Do the stuff sack first. Tell you what, let me get the sleeping pad out of the way. Don't need that. Um, I always like to start from the bottom. I'm not saying that that's the right way to do it. It's just how I always do it. Um, as with any down product, you don't want to roll it. You want to stuff it. Um, and I don't like to stuff it the same way every time. Um, you don't want to put all the down on one side of the of the sleeping quilt or sleeping bag if that's what you have. Now this is rated to 35 degrees. That's what they, they rate it to. Um, given the fact that how I know it uh, operates at 50, 50 degrees. I can't say that I would disagree at all. So that is the sleeping quilt. Pretty awesome. Okay, so let's compare that to a storage set. We get it back out, plus back up. Um, one thing I do want to sh show before I put it in there actually is up on the head section by where you would sleep they do have a little pocket um, so you can put cell phone or whatever in there and it does have a snap so you can keep it by you at all times if, th if that's what you think is necessary I don't like putting hard objects up there but maybe a wallet or something but it does have that I think I, that's where I actually when you buy it, I think that's where they have these fasteners located, these in here. So if you pull up on the bag and you don't find these, this is probably where they are. Just so you know. Alright, storage sack. So I put the stuff sack at the bottom of the storage sack. That's just what I always do uh, so it, I, it doesn't fall out. It's always there ready for me. And whenever you do the storage sack, I do the same thing. Just make sure you're not putting it in there, rolling it up or anything like that. You just want to stuff it in there. So unlike, and even when you're talking about sleeping bag, it's a very small store, uh, storage sack. So it's, it packs up a lot smaller. So I mean, that's the best way to describe it. Uh, that is the Chorus HD quilt from Thermarest. All right. So like I said, one pound, six ounces for the regular, one pound, eight ounces for the large. Uh, this guy is 250 bucks. That's what it's going to retail at. Of course, you can find it on sale possibly. I will put links down below if you'd like to purchase out of those links. You are supporting the program. Thank you very much. Um, but this is one of those products that I highly recommend looking at at least. Even if you're just kind of maybe in the market, a quilt is something to consider depending on what you're looking for and what temperature and where you're going. I love it. I really, I really do. It's very, very versatile. That's the best thing about it. So 
If you have any questions, post those below. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. Like it if you can. I appreciate it. Head over to campgeeks.com. You can actually contact me directly through campgeeks.com. It's a faster and easier way to get a hold of me directly rather than just posting a comment. Um, so, that said, if you have anything else that comes up, let me know. Otherwise, check this guy out. Check us out here. And we'll see you here for a future review coming up soon. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thank you.